Hi, I'm Ted Bone with Argonne National Laboratory. I'm here to talk about how Argonne is using smart grid technology to charge plug-in hybrid electric vehicles with clean and efficient electricity. Argonne's transportation research program remains at the forefront of electric vehicle technology development. We are working with industry to help make electric vehicles more commercially viable. One of our goals is to gauge the impact of these vehicles on the electrical grid. As more and more electric cars hit the road, charging these vehicles may create an added strain on the power system, making the development of a smart grid a crucial piece of the puzzle. To explain why, let me tell you how the smart grid may work. First of all, what is a smart grid? We're all familiar with the electric utility power system that lights our homes and lets us run our appliances and computers. The smart grid is still an electric power system, but it's different because it lets you choose where your electricity comes from and when you want it delivered. Essentially, it's a smart er grid. This can save money and help the environment. Electric power is generated from many different sources, coal, natural gas, nuclear energy, wind, and solar. The smart grid lets you choose where your energy comes from. You can choose non-polluting sources like wind, solar, or sources like coal that produce greenhouse gases. Smart Grid also lets you choose when you want to use electricity. This can save you money because the cost to produce electricity and deliver electricity changes throughout the day. When power demand is high, energy costs more. With the Smart Grid, you can decide if you want to charge your PHEV late at night when it's cheaper or right away, even though it may be more expensive. The Smart Grid also helps utilities. It lets them operate the power system more efficiently and prevent blackouts. By giving utilities up-to-minute information about where power is needed and what energy sources are available, they can route the power more efficiently without overloading the system. Without this information, utilities have to keep more power plants running than are really needed at any one time, just to be ready for unexpected changes in demand. Knowing where power is needed and what sources are available is particularly valuable as more renewable energy is added to the power system. That's because the output of many renewable energy sources can vary quickly in a matter of minutes. The wind speed at a windmill may change or a cloud may pass over the solar electricity system. With smart grid technology, the utility has the information to respond immediately. The utility can increase power output from renewable energy when it is available and reduce load when it is not available. To give you a better idea how the smart grid works, we've created this interactive model. This model consists of different elements that would fuel a plug-in electric vehicle. Here we have petroleum, wind power, coal power, and solar power. In the center, we have the independent system operator, who facilitates communication between you, your home, your car, and the grid. Communication is made possible with a new connection standard by SAE called J1772. It has a physical layer that passes information across the power layer. Argonne participated on the international committee that developed this standard. This plug has two pins dedicated solely to communication. This exchange of information is what makes a grid a smart grid. And this touchscreen represents the grid control center. The bars on the left side show the mix of energy sources and the price to the consumer. So how exactly does all of this work together to affect you, the consumer? We've created some profiles to show how different scenarios will impact different consumers. First, we have Ms. Economy. This is a consumer whose biggest concern is price. As we see here, the price for electricity is too high for her. As the cost starts to decrease, Ms. Economy begins to buy more electricity. It doesn't matter what energy source it comes from, she just cares about price. Then we have Mr. Green. He does care about the environment. So if a less environmentally friendly energy source, such as coal, is all that's available, Mr. Green is less likely to buy electricity. But as we increase the availability of wind and solar energy, he's more likely to start buying. He's not sensitive to the price changes at all. Mr. Green is most concerned about minimizing his environmental footprint. And finally, we have Mr. Money. This consumer has a corporate account so he doesn't care about the price. He doesn't care about being green. Mr. Money just wants to be charged right now. He'll buy electricity at any price, from any source, any time. No matter what drives your buying decisions, the smart grid is really about helping you. The bottom line is that it helps utilities and customers to communicate faster so that you, the consumer, can control your costs and reduce your environmental impact.